What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Thanks for tuning in to another video. In this video, we are gonna be going over the pros and cons of buying real estate and renting real estate. If you're on the fence and you're not too sure on which one to choose, well, look no further because in this short video, we're gonna be going over exactly that. If it's your guys' first time to the channel, welcome, my name's Omar. I'm your local friendly real estate agent here in Los Angeles. If you wanted to get in contact with me, my phone number and email will appear on the screen. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified anytime I do upload a new video. And without any further ado, let's get right into the video. First, we are gonna be going over the pros and cons of renting a home. So the big benefit of renting is you are not gonna be tied down to one specific location. I always recommend uh, my clients, if you know you are gonna be staying at a certain uh, city or state even, for less than three years, you are better off renting because there is gonna be a lot less overhead. It's generally a little bit cheaper to rent, especially in the short term, because you are not gonna be liable for any repairs, taxes, uh, insurance, anything like that, that you would be liable for if you were to purchase a home. You're also gonna be saving money on the down payment, uh, and you're not gonna have a, a mortgage that you would have to pay for. So it is beneficial and cheaper, especially in the short term, if you do know you want to be moving later down the line, especially in that three year period. However, once you go past three years, uh, purchasing a home is actually gonna be your best option because when you do buy a home, think of it as a huge savings account, right? When you rent a home, you're basically paying off somebody else's mortgage. But if you're buying a home, you're basically taking money from one pocket and you're putting it over into another pocket. So it stays with you. You're not siphoning it off and you're actually able to build up equity in the home. And especially if, if you're in a good real estate market or in most real estate markets in general, your home will appreciate over the years. Um, this is usually at an average of about 5% per year. I mean, in the past two years, like years 2020, 2021, um, and early 2022, uh, we were in a crazy real estate market, seeing homes increase 20% a year, uh, which is kind of bananas. Um, but it, the national average before that is anywhere about uh, three to five to maybe even 7% a year, just depending on what type of real estate market you're in, and especially the location of the home. I mean, I'm sure you've heard uh, before, it's all about location, location, location. That defines the property value uh, in real estate. However, some drawbacks of owning a home is you are going to be liable for any repairs uh, that, may be, that may occur. So any plumbing issues, electrical issues, heating issues, anything like that, you would have to come out out of pocket. Uh, so. If you are a first time home buyer, uh, be prepared to experience some of those repairs that may have to be done that will cost you a little bit out of pocket. But at the end of the day, it is your home. So you do have to, to think about that. In addition, you aren't going to have to follow any rules that the landlord might uh, put on you. You are gonna be uh, at the comfort of your own mercy. So whatever you wanna do, uh, you wanna paint the room a new style, you want to lay some new tile down, uh, replace the carpet with hardwood, you are definitely able to do so. We just went over a few pros and cons about buying versus renting in real estate. Uh, so basically in a nutshell, um, if you are gonna be staying in a place for three to five years or so, um, Renting is going to be a better option for you, but if you are looking to stay any uh, any longer time frame and you are able to afford purchasing a property, I would highly recommend doing so, uh, just because you're gonna be building up that equity and capturing some of that appreciation value that will occur in you holding that asset. 
Uh, I hope you guys got some value from today's video. Uh, if you did, share it with a friend, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified anytime I do upload a new video. We have new videos uploaded every single week. And if you wanted to get in contact with me, my phone number and email will appear on the screen. Don't hesitate to reach out. I know some people are afraid of calling uh, or texting. Uh, if you're that type of person, uh, shoot me an email. Uh, with your question and, or concern, and I'd respond to you in a quickly uh, manner. Again, it's Omar, your friendly local realtor here in Los Angeles, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Take care.